right, let's all stand to our feet and let's welcome the Lord uh, to this house. Heavenly Father, we just come to you tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We are so thankful once again and grateful to be able to gather, Lord, into your presence, God, and to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord God, tonight, Lord God, we just ask you, Lord, that you just have your way. Fill this house, Lord, with your glory as you always do. Touch our hearts, touch our lives, Lord. Bring strength to those that are hurting, healing to those that are sick, Lord. We just give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, and the church said, Amen and Amen. Let's sing victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Kichi. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ will come up and say amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Kiss C tonight, amen. Kiss C, amen. Change it up a little bit. Let's say he paid a debt, amen. Thank God for the blood of Jesus, amen. He paid a debt, amen.
Lord, we love you tonight. We praise you tonight. Lord, we just, we worship you. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there's only one requirement to, to be worthy to take communion. That's to be washed in the blood of Jesus. Amen. And uh, the Bible tells us to not partake of communion unworthily. Amen. And uh, I don't want to do that tonight. You don't want to do that tonight. So let's just take a moment. Let's just say, Lord, if there's anything in my heart, God. Lord God, I just I put it under the blood tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we give you all of our failures, frailties. We give you all, God, of our mistakes, our sin. We give it to you. Lord, we want to partake of communion worthily tonight. Lord, it is your will, God, that your children remember your death until you come. And Lord, that's the purpose of communion, Lord. We're remembering the finished work of Calvary until you come, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for who you are and what you've done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 11, starting in verse number 24, said when he had given thanks, he break it. And he said, take and eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, once again, Lord, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die upon an old rugged cross to pay for our sins, to, to save us from wrath, to wash our sin, our guilt, our iniquity away, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you sent your son, Jesus, to that cross to die for us. We thank you, Lord, for the body that was broken, that was beat, bruised, whipped, and torn, that we might go free. We thank you, Father, for sending Jesus. We thank you for the body that was broken for us. Hallelujah. You can eat of the cracker that represents the body of the Lord. Scripture goes on to say in verse number 25 after the same manner also he took the cup and when he had said saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bed and bread and drink this cup you do show the Lord's death until he come heavenly father once again we Thank you for sending Jesus. Lord, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission, no forgiveness of sins. And you knew that, Father, so that's why you sent forth your Son to shed his blood to wash away our sins. And Lord, I thank you that whenever Jesus died upon that cross, once that blood was shed. The lamb's blood was shed. Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, it is finished. We thank you, Lord, for the blood. The blood of Jesus that washes our sins away. The blood of Jesus that saves our souls. The blood of Jesus that delivers, that heals, that set frees. It's all in the blood of Jesus. Lord, we remember tonight your body that was broken and your blood that was shed on Calvary. We do this, Lord, under your instruction and in remembrance of you. We love you and we thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. You can drink up the grape juice that represents the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just lift up our hands to the Lord. Shango also to my God, Taya Sike, Russia, Malabaki, Abaka. Yondo Rabata, Lapo Sike, Debata. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So much perish the Say something for Jesus. The Bible says how blessed us how how blessed it is when brethren is well fed and unity. Amen. Amen. And thank God for allowing me for permitting me by his grace. As I was I was just happy to be before I came, I purpose and said, 
after we had lunch and said, ah, it's good tonight. But I was kind of tired, and it's so interesting, I sat, they were watching a football game, and <laughs> then literally they turned on, and there was the passion of Christ. Mm. And it happened to be when he was being nailed on the cross. Mm -hmm. And they showed when the bread and the wine, and see what is taking place right now as they do the Lord. Amen. And I'm reminded, it's just by His grace that we are what we are. That's right. That's it. Amen. And uh, it's, 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 it's such a blessing wherever you are in His presence because He says, in His presence there is fullness of joy. I thank God for permitting, for allowing me. I've done different troubles everywhere by the grace of God. But I thank God, even I just came back just for a little while. Uh, very soon, a couple of months, I'm getting ready, me and my wife are getting back ready to go back to Africa to go and do what God has called us to do. Amen. But the most important thing this morning I was, I will happen to be, I was seated outside. Usually I wake up in the morning to do my devotion, just read, just, sometimes even just to sit and watch at na look at nature. Because as I look at nature, I see God. Uh -huh. And I say, look at God. But come around, they, they start a coming back, they come around. This morning came right in my face like this. He goes, yes. <laughs> I said, look at God. <laughs> but you know, as I sat there, just say two, three days ago, there, there is a stair at the pastor's house, but right on the neighborhood, right, it's just a wall. This gentleman, I don't know his name, but every morning I see him. Between 7 and 7 that he's, he's a mixed car, he has to be a pastor with me. But all I will say, hello, hello. Most times I desire to share. Yeah. But because of communication and whatnot, and one thing I'm learning, sometimes you don't see me to say anything. But people will know what you carry. Amen. By this they will know that you're my disciples. Amen. And all I have to say, I just wave at him and, and he goes back. So two or three days ago, I was wondering. And for some reason, I couldn't see his truck. I said, you never know people, you might have taken a trip or whatnot. So I just, yeah. but I came to him and I said, where is he? But just yesterday but one, the wife stepped out. And then the wife said to the wife, he said, oh, I know how it, I said, how is your family? And, she said, it's doing fine. And for some reason, I said, how is your husband? And just right in my face, she said, he died. Mm -hmm. And I said, I screamed. I said, what? Because he was like, just, I said, what are you talking about? Yeah. He said, I don't know, you had the incident of the guy who killed six people yeah. uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. And he was, one, he was one of those people. Oh. He was a mechanic. Working at that facility on the truck place, whatever it is. Yeah, wow. But because he was caught in the field. Yeah, right. Yeah. And he said he was killed. He was one of those people. And I saw so him going, I told the pastor, I said, Guess what? This the neighbor, he's one of the guys who passed out. And what am I saying this? Saints, we're out of time. That's right. Anything can happen right now. Amen. But the question is. Whatever he created each of us, are we about our father's business? Yeah. Or are we caught up in ourselves? Yeah. The Bible says we are in the world, but we're not of this world. That's right. Amen. Anything can happen. Amen. Yes. But my first cry is, Lord, the purpose you created me for, let that purpose be fulfilled. Last month, this is this is for oh, September. Yeah. Right. Last month I turned 61. 61. I was in Texas. I went to Texas, I've been in North Carolina. But the most important I can, this was my prayer. I said, Lord, there's nothing else I'm asking you for. I'm asking you for one thing. That there will not be anything of me, yeah. but it will be Christ in me. Yes, yes, yes. You know where, where it says, less of me and more of you are? I went to a and I said, no. Lord, I want, I don't want anything of me. Amen. I want all of you. Yes. Yes. It's all of you. All, all of Jesus. Yes. 
I said the, the remaining time you have me on planet Earth is not me, but you. Amen. It's let it be all about you. Yes, amen. So I just want to thank God. We are, when he says we are living in the last days, That's right. amen. we can see before our very eyes. The Bible is being unfolded before us. Right. Amen. But we as a child, we are so like caught up in ourselves mm -hmm. that we're missing this moment. This moment, this is a special moment. This is a precious moment. That's right, amen. So it's always, I'm always blessed when we gather together, when we come to fellowship, to encourage one another. Yes. Because that's what's all about. Amen. But I just want to thank God for what God is doing in each of you. Thank God, Pastor, for the church and for everything. Amen. Sometimes you wonder when you say we are there. No, we are more than two. Yeah, amen. He said we are two or three are gathered. Right. The most important thing is his presence being in our midst. That's right, amen. Because the world is hopeless. Yeah. People are looking for hope. That's right, yeah. But we have a hope. Amen. We, amen. So it's we who allow the hope of Christ to be with you. That's right. This morning I saw a gentleman across, and I'm not, and I saw him walk up in the morning. He has a this. And this morning I saw him polishing it and doing everything and vacuuming. And in my mind I said, wow. Now to him, that is what he treasures. Yeah. That is what he treasures that he can even wake up early in the morning mm -hmm. to be concerned about the car. How much more is it for you and me yeah. to wake up early in the morning and say you are worthy to be praised. Yes. You are worthy yeah. to be exalted. Yeah. Because the world loves his own. Yeah. But you have what money cannot buy. Yeah. We have the gift of God. We have the grace of God. We right. have the mercy of God. Yes. So I just want to thank God for what God is doing in each of our lives. Amen. I'll not take my time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful testimony. Amen. We're so thankful Brother Patrick is with us in service uh, tonight. Amen. We said, Lord bless you, my brother. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, uh, who's going to take up the offering? Sister Michaela? All right, come on. Hey, man, Sister Michaela is going to take up the offering, the last offering of the month. Yeah, you're the only one taking it up. Don't worry. <laughs> Nobody's going to steal your light. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, <clears throat> we just love you. We thank you uh, once again, Lord, for this time. We can come to you on our giving. We ask you, Lord, that you just bless this offering, Lord. Multiply it. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Hey, there is power, power, power in the
you all play a major part in this church. And uh, I want to say uh, this church is blessed uh, just to, to have people uh, such as Randy and Mary. And uh, I love you guys. And, uh, and I love Brother Seth. Amen. Just your, your whole family. Uh, Y'all are a tremendous ministry. Uh, Sister Mary, she preaches house down. Amen. <laughs> and uh, Brother Seth, one of these days he's going to start singing. He sings right. up here very good. <laughs> Amen. I can hear you, Brother Seth, and I like that. Sound wonderful. And uh, uh, Brother Randy on that bass and just uh, an encourager and a testimony. But I just thank the Lord for Randy and Mary and Seth and all of you. And uh, I'm glad that Sister Mary is going to be preaching tonight and delivering the word. Amen. And uh, I preach a lot around here. <laughs> Amen. My dad, he's accused me before. He said, boy, you just hog that pulpit, don't you? And I said, well, I'm the pastor. I can do that. <laughs> Amen. But uh, I just thank the Lord uh, for Sister Mary and her willing heart to share God's word and to share God's heart. Amen. So, Sister Mary, you come and just have your liberty. Let's make her feel welcome. Amen. Amen. 